Greetings and salutations, my friends. I know it's been a while since last we spoke. If that, I offer my sincere apologies. But well, what are you going to do, you know? When you've been down, you have certain obligations. And those things needed to be uh, attended to. In my absence, there was a gap. Mark from church, making from work. You could have, you could have maybe made some headway on the dark. But it's good. It's good that you chose not to. Because we both know it would have been an uphill battle, should we say. So, I would accept the fact that you guys have, let's say, uh, gracefully bowed out. It's probably the best. For me, for you, for you especially. <laughs> We all know there's really no competition. <laughs> but since I've been away, a lot of things have transpired, right? You've seen many things go on. You've seen uh, dragons come from eggs. And one dragon, he even became a little bit, let's say, chilly. Since then, we've seen these, these games. These thrones, the game of thrones. <laughs> That's what I did there. They've come, they've fallen. And now no one sits on the uh, higher throne. What are you gonna do, right? Things happen. But what I can assure you is that I still sit on the throne of Oreos. <laughs> and we all know that is the throne that counts, right? You see the mystery solved? It was Chiro, a little bird who worked told me, my friends all over the place. It's actually quite interesting, right? If I was at our Oreo, I might not have led with the, uh, the Chiro, the Native American Chiro sheep that they came out with. To me, that would have been the last clue, but hey, who am I? Oh, <laughs> I'm the Don. So Oreo might want to listen to me. But now, now is the fun part, right? What is an Oreo without your milk? Thank you, thank you, Oreo. They, uh, they came up with some fun flavors outside of the churro as well. Mm. Caramel coconut, caramel, that they know where you're from. Mm. Like a helpful caramel. It's a, it's, a, it's a Chicago thing. Mm. It's pretty delicious. Can't wait to give it a try. We also have the uh, chocolate marshmallow on here. Yeah. Mm. Pretty good, that too. Pretty easy to try. For my friends, my friends, they send me things, they continue to send me things. We have the strawberry cheesecake Oreo. Mark from church, I know you want to try that one, but hey. What I'm gonna say. We also have the lemon tort Oreo. These aren't your domestic Oreos, right? But when I say I import, I export, it's a business. What are you gonna do? Cocoa brownie Oreo. You won't find these on your shelves. These are not anywhere close to here. So many Oreos. So little time, my friends. This one. From my friends in Asia. The crispy tiramisu Oreo. It just rolls off, rolls off your tongue. Tiramisu, right? <laughs> I like it. I like it. And this one. This one is solid. Sea salt caramel Oreo. Sea salt color. You know, the guy likes to keep it healthy. <laughs> and as some of you might know, the Don, I like ice cream. So we give you the blueberry ice cream Oreo. So many Oreos, so many Oreos. But I know you guys are more interested in the ones. They've just recently come out. 
So, I'm gonna wrap him up. As you can taste like. We're gonna start with the chocolate marshmallow. Hey, right? it's, it's, it's a fun to me for the, uh, it makes me think about, you know, campfires. So let's see what we got here. Ugh, that's, that smells delicious. That's delicious over here. That is good. That's a good Oreo. Mm. Mm. That Oreo. It's like deep in, uh, dipping your Oreo in, uh, it's like a, what am I saying? It's like dipping a marshmallow into a chocolate fondue. Mm. It's delicious. I really did a good job on that one. But without the mess, right? It's simple. Easy cleanup. I like easy cleanup. It comes, it comes with the business. <laughs> Caramel coconut. Let's see what we're talking about here. Interesting. Interesting. Mm. Let's break this one apart. It's a difficult icing. It smells delicious. We give her a go. Mm. It's like a more delicious almond joy. Yeah. It has a hint of coconut flavor to it. But not, not too much. Right? That's good. Reminds me of a German chocolate cake. Yeah. Mm. I like that. Mm. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Actually been ready to try the lemon tart Oreo. This one, this one comes from my Spanish brothers. They have it over there. But country, I have not one to tell. Huh? But that's no snitch. Mm. It definitely smells like lemons. There's a nice yellow ice into it. Mm. That is refreshing. The lemon, the lemon wakes you up. It's a good Oreo. Very good. It's aroma. It's like, it's like zesty. Very zesty. But delicious. I like it. Talk to me, and I'll see if I can get you some. Mm. No promises. Mm. Like a little pie. But what's pie sometimes with a little bit of ice cream? So yeah, mm. it's time for the blueberry ice cream Oreo. I like the packaging for the seeds. Nice and thin. It's like they're cookies. A little bit more health conscious, you know. Got the dime. But everything going straight to muscle. <laughs> I like to be a little bit healthy. <laughs> and I am. 
It's a bad idea. Mm, that was a strong, strong blueberry scent there. This is going to be delicious. I know it. I know it. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like a fresh bush of blueberries. Mmm. It runs back in the old country. Sure, we have grapes. We also grow blueberries. Mm. My grandfather grew blueberries. Yeah. Who knows? I could have been the blueberry down, but <laughs> I'm the Oreo down. What are you going to do? Mm. Mmm. That was delicious. You like that one? What should we try next? Mm. I'm feeling a little bit like uh, maybe some strawberry cheesecake. I like cheesecake. It's so flavorful. Let's see what we got here. Again, Ori, I don't know what you did, but the smells are so refreshing. They smell just like it. it. Smells like cheesecake and strawberries. Mm. That's really. I feel like it just came out of the oven. Reminds me of a uh, strawberry cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. But a little more crunch. Mmm. Mm. That was delicious. A solid Oreo. What should we try next? I'm gonna go. We're gonna go tiramisu. Tiramisu is actually one of my favorite desserts. And this one shits me especially. Because again, I like the way they package things in Asia. Which I say the Asian countries. Nice city fish. Probably just enough to satisfy me. Eat a whole little world, right? It's good. I like it. Waste not, won't not. Here we go. And also, again, make them very thin. They're about the, I would say, half the size of the regular Oreos. All the way thin over All the old things, I think. It's a good uh, icing to cookie ratio. Tiramisu, what are you gonna do? <laughs> mm. You know, the flavor is good, but it's it's a, it's a light flavor. I like it a little bit stronger. So tiramisu, I respect the flavors, but. Yeah. It's not quite my favorite Oreo. But there's an Oreo. We're going to put that away. So many Oreos. So little time. Sea salt corn. Now this should be good. This should be good over here. Again, I love the individual packaging. It tickles me every time I see it. I love it. You gotta be careful, though. Make sure you don't move the cookie and go over here. 
Hey, surprise. This one is actually a uh, regular size. I'm gonna take my words back. Only ones. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, here we go. Sea salt gum. Mm. Mm. Now that tastes like caramel fresh off the block. When I was little kid, I used to go get the little the caramel blocks, you know? The blocks of caramel. Hit it in the packaging as well. I used to kill these little things. Mm. It's probably why I go to the dentist so much as a kid. Too many caramels. What are you going to do? Mm. I like it. I like the sea salt combo. Two more left. Brownies. Everyone loves a good brownie. Time the brownie. Yeah, that's again just a little visual packaging. They know what they're doing. Let's give it a go. Chocolate icing. The chocolate cookie. Mm. As soon as I bit into this one, I just smell the flavors of the taste of rainbows. It's like a really chocolate gooey. Gooey brownies you get from the uh, you get from the grocery, you know? It's really good. And no mess on my fingers. No icing, the ice is in the middle. It keeps it clean that way. I like it. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. Now we're down to the last one, y'all. This round, that is, right? The one that wakes you up. Mm. The latte Oreo. It's a thin, thin Oreo. Mm. Oreo you on the go in the morning. Little coffee. Mm. Smells like a freshly brewed latte. Mm. That's good. That's impressive. Mm. Coffee and a cookie. Who would have guessed it, right? <laughs> mm. So many Oreos. And more to come. I tell you, with all these Oreos, I'm proud of them. Mm. Also, too, Mark from church, making for work. The Oreo kind of shows all over. Mm. Remember, there's only one dot. And it solidified the fact that I am the Oreo dot. There's one thing that I have that no one else in this world has. And you would expect it only from the dawn. You want to take a guess what that is? There is one in the world that only I possess. And what that is, is very simple. It is the Oreo gauntlet. And this gauntlet can only be worn by the Don. For there's only one Oreo gauntlet and one Oreo gauntlet ever in existence. And in this gauntlet, 
I own all six Infinity Oreos. <laughs>